So for today, we're going to be looking at the Hunter specifically. We're going to be looking at the Hinterland stuff. If you guys don't know, we usually make sets with an armor set that I've reviewed, which the videos right here, if you guys want to check it out, we go over how it looks, how it shares my personal thoughts. And I'm pretty brutal on it considering the bones doesn't change color. I also have a shader video. So that way you guys can see all of the shaders that I currently own on that armor. So that way you guys could see what you can do with that armor. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, we're going to be starting off with the helmet. And this is the set that I made with it. I think this looks super cool. Very much in the, in the, like in the air of like, you're a hunter. And I mean that like in the, in the actual sense of hunter, not the class, but like, you look like you're hunting something. The bag on the chest looks really good. The like arrows on the hip looks really cool. And honestly, the only thing I would switch out is funnily enough, the helmet, uh, it's just the bone color that really pisses me off. The reason I'm using continuum alloy is literally because of the fact that it almost looks exactly the same as the bone when you look at it straight forward. So that's why I'm using it. But if I'm being honest, like I already have another look for this set, which is me just switching out the helmet for another one. And then the shader is also switched out for something else. So like as much as I love this set, I, just, I think the helmet is just really lacking. And I did talk about this in the actual video review of the armor. It's just a bone, man. Like Bungie, just let us change the color or I would actually be okay with having the bone color change slightly. So maybe it's like a gold, uh, maybe it's like right now it's like a green yellow. Maybe it can switch to like a bone color, an off white, and then some other colors here and there, but it always look like a bone color. I would be okay with that because that would be much better than not, no color at all. But to finalize this, Candice Luna Cloak is the other piece that I'm wearing. And overall, I really like this set. This is probably my favorite set from the whole set. So let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, I will say this is the weakest one just because it feels kind of like a cop out. But at the same time, I still like it. It's just it's not as strong as the other ones because the the other the last two are really good as well. Uh, my whole thought process was my hunter was getting into hunting. So like this is like his first start into hunting. I'm also using the bow tracer with war paint and ornament on it. I think it looks really cool. And overall, like I feel like this set is more of a transitioning into a hunter, kind of like the first set that I made was the final like, oh, I'm a hunter. I hunt like our Ahamkaras. And the the second set is like a, a step into that progression. So that's like where my head was going when I made this set. I wanted to do something cool like that. And I know some people are going to be like, that's lame. It's fine. I always like to show my L's as well, just because I'm not perfect. I don't make dub sets all the time. So that's why I have this set up here. As for the next set, I absolutely love this set. I think this set is amazing for this one. We're going to be using the chest piece. And I think the chest piece is the best piece just because there is not, there's not a lot of bone for this, at least for the hunters. There is just that, like the two in the front and that's really it. I also just think the chest piece looks really, really cool. So for this one, where you, we're going to be using the Krista cream cowl, the helmet specifically, I think it looks amazing with this whole set, especially when you combine it with the frosties, the 8,000 er ornament. I think both of them look amazing. Granted, they're both like snow themed. So that's why I think they look amazing for the arms. Grips of the anointed is what I'm using because I'm going for a like ram shackled and you guys will see this from like all of the sets i'm going for like a ram shackled look for my hunter kind of like he's putting on armor as he's going in because i think that looks cool for the cloak we're using limitless submersion cloak i think it looks amazing with the helmet that's why i'm using it for the shaders we're going with gift of the nine for the helmet arms and chest piece because the gift of the nine has this really cool like really dark color and i really wanted to use that because i didn't want everything to be bright for the boots, we're using the Arctic Dreamscape. I think the the like texture, not texture, but the pattern on the pants, I think are really, really cool. And then for the cloak, we're using Sato Tribe because I wanted something a little bit darker to combine with the stomach and the arms as well. So I think this set looks amazing. If I were to change some few things, I would probably just change the cloak. Um, I don't like the leather patches on the, the like uh, neck, not neck, but the, the collarbone. I think those are just terrible. But if I could like not have that then i think this would be amazing so definitely one of my favorites and then last but not least we're going to be using the cloak and for this one i just kind of ignored the bone color and just went in with a very cool look at least i think it's cool so for the helmet veil tithes mask is what we're using 
for the arms we're going to be using the sealed Ahamkara grasps. I think these look amazing. I always say this when I use them though, they're not as good as the Destiny 1 counterparts. For the chest piece, we're using the Relentless Harness from Crota. Uh, I'm still working on get, getting all the pieces. It's just really annoying to get them all. For the boots, Strides of the Taken King, I think look amazing with all of this. And then the cloak, obviously, we're using the Hinterland Cloak. So for this one, the shadering is where it gets really interesting. The reason I'm using Atlantis Wash is because the yellow in that is very close to the yellow of the bone for the Hinterlands. And then the Rivalry Stoic because I wanted white, but I didn't want the eyes to pop up. So it looks super, super foreboding. And that's why I really, really love it. Overall, I think this is probably the best set. I would honestly just switch out the cloak for a more hive theme. And then this would be amazing. But it's the reason I'm using the cloak with this is because I wanted to use the sealed Ahamkara grass. So it's kind of like a mixture of Ahamkara meat. A uh, uh, hive so that's like the whole spiel of this so let me know what you guys think tell me which one is your favorite i definitely really like the first one just because aesthetically it looks like uh, something a hunter would wear obviously i would switch out the helmet for something else but i think it looks amazing but i would have to say the the last one the one that i just showed you guys is just the best like that one just aesthetically just looks so pleasing to my eyes and I, again i would just switch out the cloak for that one <laughs> as well like it's funny because i would switch out the the hinterland stuff for to make it actually cool so that's kind of sad but it's also bungie's fault for making a playlist armor that has really shitty shadering which is just hilarious to me because they were talking about how no one uses the playlist armors because uh there's a so there's like a small percentage of people who use it but it's like well the previous playlist armors were just trash they were terrible and now the new playlist armor shaders really bad so it's like bungie like <laughs> what the fuck bro but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.